Hi, my connection is lost. Let's go back again. Now we go to the wireless chapter. Okay, for the wireless chapter. Our reproduct now has the Wi-Fi 6 way two with multi uh, technology. Okay. And uh, very easy to uh, configuration and management. Okay. Uh, on the re device, including the router switch access point it can manage on the cloud and under the SON solution that uh, we uh, introduced yesterday. Sorry, lost the connection again. You guys can hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, okay. So our, our access point, uh, we have the inward access point, selling access point and outdoor access point, even we have the uh, wireless bridge. And all of them can manage under the cloud and under the SON solution. Here is the uh, access point segment, right? Access point segment to let the client connect. Okay. Let me make some introduce about the, our access point. For the Wi-Fi 5, we have four more model. RAP 2200F, F meaning uh, fast ethernet, and RAP 220E, this is a uh, gigabit ethernet. Okay, this is a uh, inward access point. RAP to one two zero zero F. This this one also is a uh, fast Ethernet, and another RAP model, RAP one two zero zero P. This is a uh, P. This is a the, the, the PoE. We have one port PoE. This uh, model support four four LAN port, four LAN LAN port. You can intone this onto the, the room and using the LAN port on the, the access point, connect to uh, IP phone, connect to TV, connect to the laptop. Nice it, scenario. And outdoor access point, now we have this model is N, N of sale. This model is N of sale. The new model here, let me introduce you. This one also on hundreds. Uh, this one is uh, uh, this is two new model of Wi-Fi 6, 
and Wi-Fi Pi. I'll make you excellent. Okay. Excuse me, Kelvin. Yes. Uh, what What is the difference of the antenna? I can you explain me this of the of the direction omnidirectional antenna and the array. The, the wireless covering will not be same, right? Let's see. Se refiere a sectorial, no? Creo que sí, pero no sé cuántos grados de apertura tenga. You can see this is a uh, array antenna. Let me make. Uh, how how many degrees is is this? Do, do you know the the number or? I think in, yes. in this section, is it is, it is uh, omnidirectional antenna? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I got you, you this. You can see they are different, right? They are different. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, omnidirectional. And here is uh, In the omnidirectional antenna, it's uh, 360 degrees. Yes, yes. Sir. In the array antenna, how many degrees are the the access point. Do, do you have this number of how many degrees is for the this model with the array antenna? Let, let me check. Let me check for you. And you can see here is it here is a two two outdoor Wi-Fi six of the three uh, six two six six two six zero Z and six two six two Z uh, they are different right they are different uh, different the antenna and different the the design right this one is Wi-Fi six uh, on on directional this one is uh, all right, antenna. Okay, let me show you. Oh, they are not mentioned here. Maybe I, I think I and uh, we'll give you the answer later. Yes, don't don't worry. Thank you. So we, we will continue. And the outdoor bridge, we have two model, EST three three hundred ten and EST three hundred fifty, and this uh, model support five kilometer. This model support one kilometer. 
Okay. And indoor Wi-Fi 6, we this is, this is on the outdoor, right? And two indoor Wi-Fi 6, two 260Z and two 260E. What's the difference between two models? Two 260E support uh, 2.5 Z port. But two two sixty Z only support one Z one Z four. You can uh, using the uh, specification to for the tender document to go for the project. Okay. And uh, we also support the home Wi-Fi uh, five model now. E -W. 300 Pro. This is Wi Fi 4. This on Wi Fi 4 only support 2.5 Z, uh, 2.4 Z, C band. And uh, these are the two models is Wi Fi 5, AC Wi Fi, and two models is AX Wi Fi, Wi Fi 6, okay. Wi Fi and two Wi Fi 5. Uh, I have a question. Uh, can we do mesh uh, between the access point and home Wi Fi? Uh, no, we can. Or... Mesh in home Wi-Fi and home Wi-Fi and uh, access point and access point with access point. Okay, so in between access point and home Wi-Fi, we cannot do a mesh. Yes, and mesh is not support. Let me see. And can we do roaming, L3? On um, also no. Okay. No roaming. Right, thank you. Here is a list of more than the not support mess. Please take note. Okay, so uh, how to configure the IP? Let me show you. To configure the IP, very easy. As I show you yesterday about the SON, right? After SON finish, the Wi-Fi will be broadcast. The uh, Wi-Fi SSID with configuration on the SON. Okay, you can see here. This is my network, my SON network that I made the demonstration yesterday, right? So how can we continue with the, the access point, right? Uh, for the new access point, if you want uh, for the first time, for the first time to configure an access point, right? You just connect the access point to the to the to the network, right? And then you configure an SON. After SON finish, the Wi-Fi also can 
for start and then ID that you that, that you did it before. And uh, now you want to uh, adding more access point into the network. So how can you do, right? How can you do? Minutes. I will delete this asset point. This one. Two way to your configuration the Wi Fi. Okay. The first way you, you can you can do do on the cloud and the second way you can do on the on the SON. Okay, let me let me like so go to SON. Let me connect my phone first. Okay, you guys see my screen. You have my phone. You can see my network is uh, only one SSID, SON, SON Wi Fi, right? Sorry. Here is SON Wi Fi. Okay. Here is SON Wi Fi. So, Now I, I want to uh, uh, create one more SSID. So how can I do? Okay, no. You can go to the network planning and go to Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi list, and click to this button to adding more SSID. For example, I want to create the rest. That's it open, right? I click to adding more. Yes, make the yes VLAN first. in the DSCP also. Hi, hi Kelvin. 
sorry yes. for too many questions, but okay. um, so, yes. can, can you um, can you make a, a specific range for the DHCP for the uh, IP address? Can you make a IP range and a specific? I, I don't know how it is clear. So, this so, sorry, what, what do you mean about the specific? Uh, for, for example, when you create the VLAN and you do the, um, yes, yes, I, I mean the, the subnet and the APA address, the range. For example, I want to, to create a range from the 100 uh, to 255. I, I don't know how to say that. Moment. I mean the pool of, of the IP address. IP range? Yes. 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 The... yes people. Okay, yes, you, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, Here you can see uh, the in 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 this in the gateway we have some limitation. Uh, for example, the DSCP does only allow you to uh, to configuration the start IP. For example, now I want to to this VLAN assign the IP for VLAN from start from ten. That's start from 10. And I want to assign only 200, uh, 200 IP. It means from 10 to, uh, to, to 200, from 10 to 10 to limit. It's a bit confusing, 200 IP. Yes, means that okay. to two hundred, right? Yeah, it's a uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I I got it. Thank you. Yeah, this one. If if you want to assign only two hundred IP and rest for for oh, Kalan, you, you, you can do this, you can do this. You, you oh, just okay. uh, 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 configuration the start IP and uh, and the IP cow, you input the, the 200. And then oh, okay. DSP pool will be assigned the IP address from 10 to 210, okay? Okay, it, it, it's clear, thank you. Okay. Okay, back to Wi-Fi. Now, I continue with the guest. And I select the VLAN guest, right? And here, if you want to configure with the layer three roaming, you can enable here. And the access point support Wi-Fi 6, you can enable here. By default, the Wi-Fi 6 is enabled by default. And the band story is a uh, client will be uh, pre prefer to access to 5G radio. Excuse me, Calvin. Excuse me. Yes. Um, can I generate another uh, another DHCP pool in the same name? In in the what? Uh, generate uh, another DHCP pool in the same LAN. Same land. Oh yes. Let me uh, let me uh, show you. Other range. You mean this one, right? Uh no no no. Um. 
um, another DHCP. DHCP. So, see. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, Gracious Baker. Thank you. Okay. Um, do you mean to configure a range of IBs? For example, 192.168.1.2 to 192.168.100, this is range number one in the same LAN port. And the range number two is 192.168.101 to 200. Is that what you mean, sir? Uh, if so, the answer is no. The yes. re is not support. Uh, you, can, you can go with the uh, enterprise. Enterprise gateway support. You can do like this. Okay, let me check. We just create the new SSID, right? Here you can see we have the guest Wi Fi. Okay, we have the guest Wi Fi. Let me see. Okay. Correct the IP address, right? Correct the IP address. So that's VLAN here. Correct IP address. Okay. And the other one, oh, sorry. Uh, I want to make some explain about the gas. Uh, for the gas Wi-Fi, if you configuration on the cloud, then you don't need to create the access list, right? You don't need to create the access list for gas Wi-Fi, but if you configuration on the E web on the, the cloud, you need to you need to create the access list for guest Wi-Fi as well to control the the guest connect to the resource, right? Nine two one six zero three zero slot. And mine is working on two sickness. One, one, two, one. Oh, This is my PC, right? This is my PC. This is my phone, my PMRS. 
uh, let's check. Okay, start. Cannot my 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 phone cannot connect to my PC, right? My PC internet. So it means the the guest client cannot access to uh, to to company resort, right? Only cannot can access to internet. So how about the internet? Let me check. Let's go and start. And you can see, can connect to internet as well, but cannot cannot connect to company resource. Okay, that is the guest Wi-Fi. Let's continue. Okay, that is the best Wi-Fi. And the healthy mode, healthy mode. It means if you enable the 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 healthy mode, the 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 power transmission, the transmission power will be will be reduced. Right, will be will be ready, okay. And you can select uh, for own time or custom custom time based on the requirement, okay. And lot balancing, we have two type of lot balancing. I believe yesterday Mr. Bakia already explained about this one, right? Two type of lot balancing. The first type clan lot balancing based on clan lot balancing. And the second tie is based on traffic load balancing. Uh, however, I prefer you to using the client client base. It's better, okay, better. And the 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 group at least two IP, right? First floor like this. Okay. It means uh, I have two access points. I have two access points, access point one, access point two. 50 clan. Okay, and in this, in this room, in this room, right? So with the clan load balancing, the clan will be connect to IP1 and IP2 with the same uh, clan number. For example, this IP will get 25 and this IP will get 25 clan. Okay, with the load balancing. And with our load balancing, maybe, maybe it was some like this. Which our lot balancing maybe it was a uh, twenty client connect to IP one, uh, and only ten client connect to IP two. Okay, and and the performance of IP one will be ready with uh, forty client. Okay, and forty. Client. That's why we prefer you using the client based lot balancing. So prefer client by lot balancing. And uh, the minimum member is two, okay? Minimum member is two. 
and total the the the, the blood balancing group is thirty two. We can create thirty two member. Uh, sorry, we can create thirty two group and minimum member is two. That's the blood balancing. Okay, second thing I want to uh, show you is about the group, about the group. Okay, you have a lot of asset point, right? You have a lot of asset point. And uh, the location of asset point is different. For example, you have the two tower, right? Or two, uh, or the company uh, land, two floor. Right, uh, first floor and second floor of the building. Right, and the first floor is a uh, finance department, and second floor is technical department, like this. So, you want to group the access point of the finance and uh, access point of the technical to divide, divide to two. So, how can you do? You can go to divide and access point and click to expand and own access point by default belong to belong to default group and you can create a new group here for example i create a first floor and the other group is second floor Okay, so uh, the, the group is great, but no member, right? No member. You need to move the asset point to the member that you want. For example, I want to move this asset point I want to move this asset point to, to first floor. So how can I do? I click here and choose the chain group okay, and select the first floor. And if you, you see the default group is now only one asset point. The other ones go to first floor or left already. And back to Wi-Fi configuration. Wi-Fi list, you can see here is default group. So default group is uh, Two NS ID, right? Let's see the first floor group. Oh, you can see the first floor group is automatic creates the new NS ID. This is the default NS ID. Let's see. See, you can see here, here is a new SSID. Okay, here is a new SSID. Okay, now you can manage the IP for different location, right? You can create the same, same SSID name like the, so like the SSID. A different VLAN. Also, you can you can to uh, like a three roaming, right? Right, three roaming. That's it. And yes, uh, enable like three. Roaming. Okay, the 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 default group is a uh, SON Wi-Fi, and the first floor also SON Wi-Fi, but. Uh, a side different IP address, right? A side different IP address. Default VLAN. Then 
WIO already explained to you yesterday and radio frequency. Okay, let me explain about radio frequency. Uh, radio frequency will let you choose the country course, right? Country. Based on the country policy, for example, my country, uh, only a low 23 dBm, the power trans transmission. I don't know the country uh, policy allow how many dBm. My country is allow lower 23 dBm. Wi-Fi transmission power. So I, I, I saw it, I select uh, I select my my country. And for 2.4 channel Y, we recommend 20, 20 megahertz, okay, 10 megahertz. If you choose 40 megahertz, it's also okay, but uh, you will got uh, interference. You will got interference. So 20 megahertz is recommendation. And 5C recommend is 40, okay. If you have the Wi-Fi 6, maybe you can choose the 80, 80 to get the best performance of the Wi-Fi 6. And on, you, you can also uh, configure the client account limits here for us channel. Okay. So kick off threshold also, uh, uh, you can, we recommend allow, around, Seven minus seven D five DBM. Okay, it's okay. Right. So then might not be able to access internet with this total. Recommend minus seven. Okay, minus seven. That's it. Here is recommendation for radio frequency. For re-EMS, uh, enable by default. If you want to configure re-EMS, re you, uh, uh, how can I say? Uh, you just uh, connect the, Yes, the kick off function work with the mess, but uh, no optimization. Let me do the optimization. Okay, you can see the optimization will be uh, do a lot of the, the thing, right? Uh, also, uh, adjust the channel and transmission power and uh, sensitive, sensitive, it means the roaming sensitive, okay? And the assess about the interference, CCI and ACI, I don't know what this is. And uh, the, the radio frequency, if you, uh, if you configure uh, for example, like this, and uh, the, let me make the, uh, 
uh, a simple cell phone. The phone here connect to this access point, right? Connect to this access point. You stay here for 20 meters. So phone will get the signal 65 dBm. This um, signal is very strong, right? But now you move you move to here. Uh, 30 meter. And now the signal will go 80, like this, 80 dBm. Okay, so 80, B, 80 dBm will be low, will be low. If I to the, the wireless, the internet access, right? Maybe cannot play video, cannot uh, watching the YouTube, right? Maybe you can uh, read some uh, the magazine, okay? And read some book like this. And now if move to, move to here, it's uh, 40, right? Here is 40 meter, 40 meter. Maybe now you get, uh, 85 dBm. But the phone still connect to access point. Okay, the phone still connect to access point. And now you cannot access to internet anymore, but the phone still connect to access point. So kick off third hole. This one is weak out kick off third hole, right? This is a situation uh, which are the key of third hole. And after you enable key of third hole and set 75, right? 75. If you move to, if you move to 30 meter far from access point and the mobile will get the signal with 80 dBm and the, move, and the access point will be kicked out, will be kicked out the the connection, okay, when we kick out the connection. And uh, the mobile may be connect to the near another access point, yeah, with the better signal, okay. Is that clear about the kick off turtle function? Yeah, thank you. About the re-EMS, if you uh, want to do the re-EMS, uh, two way, two way to do the re-EMS. The first way is uh, scan on the on the application. Let me show you. And now you scan to, uh, to add the new IP, right? But I, I, I don't have the enough access point here because uh, I have only one model, 220E. The other one is 220F. And 220F is not support the, 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 the mess, so cannot make the demonstration now. And this one is a uh, First way to do the mess, and second way, second way is that connect own access point to, to the gateway. And then, and then connect by the UTP cable, right? After receive the configuration, and then you unplug, unplug the cable. 
and the mesh will be automatically changed to Y to wireless. Okay. Now in the web, uh, not not available. Web. We will just enable or disable mesh on the web. And the last indicator when let you uh, enable or disable the last indicator on the access form. So you un the thing. You can you can see here is my access point two two zero e right. We have two Ethernet port. We have two Ethernet port. The 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 default port is uh, working as the one port. So yeah. Here is the default port. The 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 LAN one, the LAN one working at the yeah. Okay, you can see here is a LAN one. PoE this uh, this LAN port is work, working at the one interface. You can see here one interface, and the the other LAN two working at the external LAN external LAN LAN port. For this port, you you can uh, connect to another PC or connect to the camera, for example, like this. You have access for here, right? Access for here. The LAN one. Connect to Swiss, right? The LAN one and LAN two, you can connect to the camera. This okay. LAN two, and we can also assign the LAN LAN one is VLAN VLAN uh, ten and LAN two. We can assign the VLAN 20 like this. The CCTV, uh, the CCTV VLAN. This is a uh, RAP. Okay. Okay. You can using this uh, Ethernet port to connect to CCTV or connect to another access point. Also can also can work. Okay, let me. Show you how to do this. Okay. Go to network and LAN, enable port VLAN. Okay. After that, assign the VLAN. For example, I assign VLAN 20. Disconnect.
Now we launch it. Okay. Now I want to assign the VLAN 20 for, for the land form. Oh, this accept for your offline. No connection. Okay, now. Okay. So now the the PC or the camera IP connect to this LAN port will receive the IP address of the of the VLAN twenty. The VLAN twenty. That is the uh, the LAN port on the access port. Okay. Uh, for Mr. Victor, question, uh, re access point is not support link aggregation now. You can, you, if you want to hide uh, the, yeah, yeah, not, not support link aggregation now. Maybe later, maybe later. But this moment is not support. And IP group already introduced, Wi Fi configuration already. Multiple ADS ID also. Turn on, turn off, blood balancing already. WIO already explained yesterday. Layer three running also interview. Oh, uh, the whitelist and blacklist. The new the new version is support uh, two hundred fifty six member of the whitelist and blacklist, but the old version is only support the new version is better. So what is a blacklist and whitelist uh, management? Uh, we, we have two we have two way to configuration whitelist and blacklist. Uh, the first way is global blacklist and whitelist will be effect to own SSID in the in the network. If you choose the blacklist by, right? If you choose the blacklist by the, the blacklist member cannot access to, to the Wi-Fi. Even you have the Wi-Fi password, right? But you are in the blacklist, then you're not able to access to Wi-Fi anymore. Okay. And if you choose the wireless, okay, if you choose the wireless, and only the member in the wireless can able to access to the Wi-Fi. So that is clear for you. And the global, global blacklist and wireless, if I to own SSID, okay, if I to own SSID. For some example, if you want to configuration the wireless or blacklist by on SSID, you can choose the SSID base, okay? And select the, select the SSID 
two configurations of blacklist and whitelist. Okay. If you if, if you select the this this added ID and two to this ID. that is a blacklist and whitelist. Uh, Many. So that's on the access point configuration that I introduced to you.